Now, so here's my thoughts on the Manchester United game against Leeds. So first in force, let's talk about Mason Mount. Now, I have to say that I wasn't really completely blown away by his performances. I have to be honest. The guy tried, but some poor decision making let him down. But anyway, he's playing for a new club, so I think he was nervous and those nerves got to him. You know when you're trying to prove a point and then you make hasty passes and because you're rushing, <laughs> you just find yourself messing those passes up. I think that explains it all for me. But there was this one time where he, he managed to you know, pull, out, pull up a decent pass to Amandialo and it was pretty decent. But I'm sure that by the end of the season, by the preseason, he's definitely going to cook up some good stuff you know, on the field. Another person who was sort of below powers, you know, Jenna Sancho, man, that guy lacked in product. I don't know if he's afraid of making mistakes or what, I don't know. But his performance was below average. But that guy, he needs to step up, step up. Ah, wow. Uh, one Bissaka defended well, no doubt about that. But when it comes to moving forward, I don't know what to know that guy if you front, honestly. <laughs> Always stuck in one spot. So performance-wise, I'll give him a solid 5 out of 10 because... He wasn't really moving forward. The runs that I was expecting from um Bisaka was what um, Alvaro Fernandez was making. The small boy made some good forward runs and even had the chance to you know score even a header. Yeah, and that impressed me. That really impressed me. Nice one, Alvaro. Moving on to Rafael Varan, I think he commanded the back line like a boss. Just like the way we expected from him. There was a through pass he sent to Mason Mount, but you know the referee said I the referee raised his flag for offside, so yeah. But the guy, the guy, the guy was amazing. Keep doing your thing, man. I was, I was impressed, really. Yeah, and Kobe, Kobe Mino and Hannibal, those guys, <laughs> those guys, Kobe Mino and Hannibal, those guys are absolutely amazing. Ah, Mino, Mino was calm with the ball, showed lots of composure, and was still very much involved in the action. Even Bruno Fernandez had to you know, comment how well he performed in the game. They went on social media and they made their own statement on the guy's performance, and it was quite positive. Alibaba brought in a whole new level of aggression to the game and caught everyone's attention with his, with his tenacity and flair on the field. You could see the hunger and his play style. You know, the guy was just absolutely amazing as well. Hannibal, Alvaro Fernandez, Maino, these guys got serious potential. Yeah, they've got some serious potential, honestly. Yeah. Now, speaking of potential, out of all the Academy boys, no, I'm Emerald stole the show for me. The guy who scored the first goal? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm Emerald. That guy, that guy. <laughs> They both had a standout performance. We need to see more of that kid. Trust me, in the next few years, that guy is going to be something else. The guy is going to be something else. He's got an eye for long range passes and some fancy leg work. Yeah, some fancy footwork. We need to take notes and nurture this talent wisely. I love his movements. Anthony, hmm, hmm. You know, there's no green with this easy guy. <laughs> but all in all, the young boys brought a fresh burst of energy to the game showed Alex persistence and won the match 2-0. So yeah, this would give Eric the Hag something to scratch his head about, to think about. So kudos to Eric the Hag for making a sensible decision to start with the senior players and then bringing the hosts, you know, a bunch, a crop of um, academy boys. That was well played, honestly. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for your time. Thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please click on the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. I will be back in the next video. But until then, guys, Ooh! <laughs>